and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our F14B Tomcat and we're looking at computer IP offset bombing. So the whole idea of, of offset bombing is that we know the position of the target in relation to an easily visible target. So in this case, we've got some targets here and they're almost impossible to see because they're under thick tree cover. So we can't find them by visual means. Um, and we don't have a lantern pod to kind of search search for the heat signature, so we've got to try a different means. So what we're going to do is select a area that is easily identifiable, and that is going to be this guy here. I don't actually know what that is. It's like a little control tower or something that we're going to use, but that's something we can use to identify. And that what we have to do is measure an offset from that to where the known position of the targets are that we can't see. So the first thing we're going to do is measure that, and we can. I'm going to have to write this down as I go. Stand by. So that is 1,504 feet at 2 degrees, tr 002 degrees true. And we need an altitude, uh, a delta altitude. So the altitude of this guy here is 98. And the altitude of this guy here is 128. So that is a delta altitude of plus 30 feet. So our offset is 1,504 feet at 002 true at plus 30 feet. Let's go get in the cockpit. Okay, we're in the cockpit now, so let's arm up our aircraft. This is not a particularly accurate bombing method, and we would usually suggest taking lots of bombs and doing a big area spread ripple for this. But um, I just, for interest sake, I would like to take two big bombs. I'm going to take two Mark 84s and just see how that goes. While we wait for that, let's go and have a look at today's controls. To drop the bomb, push and hold stores release uh, for the target designation, we're going to have target designate up, target designate down, target designate forward. Okay, that's our bombs installed. We'd usually do this in the air, but for this video, I just want to get everything set up on the ground. We're going to go to air to ground mode. In here, we're going to get our master arm off. So we're so we're all ready to drop our bombs. We're going to head into the back now. So what we want to do here is start setting up our bombs. So we want uh, Mark 84 selected. Mark 84 low drag there. We want attack mode target, uh, sorry, computer IP. I'm going to have an instant uh, electric fuse. I'm going to drop just one at a time. I'm going to have a mechanical fuse of nose tail. I'm not going to have a ripple. I'm going to select our pylons, and I can't actually remember what they are, so I'm just going to do all of those. Next, we need to move to our cap to actually set everything up, so I'm going to put us in position there. We're going to move the category selector to special. We're going to uh, ensure that this hit is on. That's our targeting air-to-ground computer is warmed up, and if it's not already hooked like it is now, then press it, and it will warm up and hook itself. Do not attempt this until it is fully hooked. And has a solid light next we're going to go to ip to target next we need to type in the information about the offset so we're going to go clear we're going to go altitude first of all altitude plus three zero feet check the input altitude plus 30 enter altitude plus 30. next we're going to clear and put the bearing in so bearing not heading uh, if we can find it bearing now the true bearing is zero zero two degrees remember we have a magnetic variance of six degrees or six point three degrees so we have to subtract six degrees from true to get magnetic remember everything in the tomcat reads magnetic is three five six tebro is that right yes it's roger uh, so bearing um, three five six and enter and our bearing is magnetic three five six next we need our range our range is currently in 1504 feet i need to go convert that to uh nautical miles so stand by 1504 feet is 0.247 miles so clear range naught two four Sorry, I've got to go and check that again. Seven, eight, actually eight on the end. Eight. So, um, a range. Nought point two four eight enter. So, our range is now 0.248 nautical miles. Our bearings 356 magnetic and our delta uh, altitude is 30 feet plus. Okay, so that's all, us all set up and ready to go. 
back to the pilot and we're all set up and ready to go. So we're going to take off and find the visible target. Okay, we're airborne now. One thing I forgot to say is ensure that your radar is transmitting. So back to the Rio. This guy here, ensure that it is to X bit, otherwise all this will be for nothing. Okay, so we're going to turn in now and find our building reference IP. Okay, so we're looking to lock our diamond designator onto the uh, visible IP building, which I think I can see just about there. I'm just going to speed up time to get there a little quicker. Okay, move the diamond down. Let's try and get it bang on. We can get this nice and accurate. And designate forward... Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, f uh, sorry. Let me concentrate for a second. We locked it in position. I have to pause there. We use the designate forward button to lock it onto our IP there. And it's the INS system has automatically offset our uh, designated diamond now, the 0.24 miles or whatever it was, to the area where it thinks the tanks are. So we can't see them because of the coverage. So let's see how that goes now. Now we're going to go for a normal computer target bombing run. So let's get some distance. Okay, we're heading in now. It's our usual computer target method. So we can go level or we can go in, in a incline it's up to us uh, note that this is for uh, this won't work with uh, Jester you have to set this up as a human so I'm not going to go over the symbology because you guys all know it you've all watched my bombing video I'm guessing so uh, let's get going we're going to center our path vector on BFL speed up time a bit we've got a ways to go yet as ever with computer target the lower we are the more accurate we are but more the danger we're in the lower queue has passed waiting for the higher queue now Pressing and holding, stores release. Fingers crossed she's on target. And we have a bomb. Drop. Level out. And let's go and watch that bomb. Down she goes. There they are. There they are. Boom. So I was about 100 feet off there. Um, it is a very hard thing to do. There's no doubt about it. Um, I've tried several runs and you always seem to be 50 to 100 feet off. Would you agree with that, Tebro? Yep, that's above my experience as well, which is why I make big ripple toss. And do we know whether the uh, inefficiency or the error is in the offsetting system or in just the bombing operation of computer target, you know, CCRP? Well, it's, you have to be both very accurate in measuring the distance mm -hmm. And you have to be very accurate in designating the exact point from which you de did the measure. Oh, Joe. What I'm going to do now is just have a minute. So I'm going to go around and actually view where my uh, diamond is and see how close that is um, to see whether it was the bombing or the or the offsetting that was the problem. So let's just um, figure out where the hell we are. Oh, I blew something up. Okay, I'm turning in now. So what I'm going to do is just go in. For a little kamikaze and to see if we can find out how accurately that was designated yeah I, I see now so you can see let's get as close as we possibly can stop so there is the target there there is where our diamond was designate, designated so our diamond was designated about 50 feet uh, to the north and the reason for that is there's only so accurate we can do this. A, the further away from the IP we get, the less accurate it is because we measure in full degrees, don't we? Um, where the, in reality, these would be kind of like 2.5 degrees or something rather than 002 degrees. So that's one reason for inaccuracy. And um, uh, that's probably why this is slightly over to the left. And, and then the distance between there and the actual bomb heading is inaccuracy in the literally in the CCRP bombing mode. It's just not very accurate, we found. Um, interestingly, do you have an opinion on whether I could actually use this target to go at, switch it to CCIP and go and try and bomb it on CCIP? Or will I lose this target, do you think, Tebro? You'll lose it, I think. I'm pretty sure you'll lose it. Since it's not, uh, that is basically a computer target yeah, designation. You can take CCIP your... doesn't have anything like that. Absolutely, yeah. So without guided bombs, this is basically almost impossible. Got bit now, so let's arm up our aircraft. This is not a particularly accurate bombing method and we would usually suggest taking lots of bombs and doing a big area spread ripple for this. But um, I just for interest sake I would like to take two big bombs. I'm going to take two Mark 84s and just see how that goes.
While we wait for that, let's go and have a look at today's controls. To drop the bomb, push and hold stores release uh, for the target designation, we're going to have target designate up, target designate down, target designate forward. Okay. Okay, that's our bombs installed. Now we usually do this in the air, just to kind of uh, usually do this in the air. But for this video, I just want to get everything set up on the ground. We're going to go to air to ground mode. In here, we're going to get our mask arm off, so we're, so we're all ready to drop our bombs. We're going to go target uh sorry computer ip i'm gonna have an instant uh, electric fuse i'm gonna drop just one at a time i'm going to have a mechanical anyway that is uh ip offset bombing that's what it's useful i hope uh, anything you want to add uh Tebra? no not really don't try to hit anything smaller than the military base <laughs> in which case you would see it anyway so it's completely pointless so it wouldn't have been much useful in nam when you were trying to just you know kill hidden vc but there you go that's technology in the 1970s for you i hope that helps and we'll see you later